if you're the person who's going to pay child support, Texas can go ahead and tell you how much child support you're most likely going to pay. And the way they do that is they take uh, your net resources, which I'll tell you about that in a second, your net resources and take a certain percentage based on how many kids that you have. So if you have one child, it's 20% of your net resources, two, it's 25, three, it's 30, and so on and so forth. And the thing is about net resources, that's not the same thing as net income, okay? And that's confusing, like, I know, but it just is. So basically to get to your net resources, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your gross income and you can back out the main things like tax withholding, FICA stuff, social security, things like that. But you're not gonna back out how much money you put in your 401k. You're not gonna back out like pre-tax, you know, cafeteria plan, stuff like that. So that's why it's different from your net income. You're just gonna back out those very few things. And then if you're gonna be the one to pay for health insurance for the kids, you can back that out. And then that number is your net resources. And then you calculate your percentage. So Generally speaking, that's the number you're going to pay if you go to court because it's just one issue the judge doesn't have to fuss with. Let me see your pay stubs. Let me see your tax returns. Bada bing, bada boom, we got a number. 